You probably ate something this morning that's aging your brain 10 years faster. In fact, three out of five Americans have one of these brain-shrinking foods in their kitchen right now. And they have no idea. Harvard neuroscientists just confirmed. Certain everyday foods literally cause your brain to shrink. Not in 20 years. Not when you're old. Right now. Today. With every bite. I'm going to show you the five worst offenders. You likely have at least three of them in your fridge right now. And food number three? Your doctor might have actually recommended it to you. Put your two fists together like this. That's roughly the size of your brain. Now, imagine shrinking that by 2% every decade. It doesn't sound like much, right? But that 2% isn't just empty space. It's your memories of your grandchildren, your ability to drive safely, your personality. Your brain weighs 3 pounds but uses 20% of your body's energy. It's 60% fat, which makes it incredibly sensitive to what you eat. Unlike your stomach or liver, your brain can't regenerate easily. When brain cells die, they're gone. Here's what makes this dangerous. Your brain has no pain receptors. It can't warn you when it's being damaged. By the time you notice memory problems or brain fog, the damage has already been done. Stanford University found that brain shrinkage starts as early as age 30. The difference between a sharp mind at 70 and dementia at 60? Often. It's just five foods. Food one. High fructose corn syrup. This is everywhere. Your ketchup. Your bread. Your yogurt. UCLA ran brain scans on people who consumed high fructose corn syrup regularly. The result? Visible shrinkage in the hippocampus. Your brain's memory center. High fructose corn syrup doesn't just spike your blood sugar. It creates something called insulin resistance in your brain. Doctors now call this type 3 diabetes. Your brain literally becomes unable to use glucose for energy. When that happens, brain cells start dying. One study tracked people for just 9 months. Those consuming high fructose corn syrup showed measurable cognitive decline, slower processing speed, worse memory recall, difficulty concentrating. Where does it hide? Soda, granola bars, salad dressings. Read every label. If you see high fructose corn syrup, throw it out. Food 2. Trans fats. Trans fats were banned in 2018. But manufacturers found a loophole. If a product contains less than 0.5 grams per serving, they can legally label it zero trans fats. A University of California study measured brain volume in people consuming trans fats. For every gram consumed daily, participants showed worse memory and smaller overall brain size. Every single gram. Trans fats do something uniquely destructive. They replace the healthy fats in your brain cell membranes. Imagine building a house with rotten wood instead of solid lumber. That's what trans fats do to your brain structure. Where does it hide? Microwave popcorn, coffee creamers, frozen pizza, packaged cookies. Look for partially hydrogenated oil in the ingredients. That's trans fat, even if the label says zero. If you're forgetting names, losing your train of thought mid-sentence, or struggling to focus, your brain may already be shrinking. Food 3. Artificial sweeteners. This is the controversial one. Diet soda. Sugar-free gum. Zero-calorie everything. People switch to artificial sweeteners thinking they're protecting their health. However, a massive study following 4,000 people for 10 years found those who drank diet soda daily had three times the risk of stroke and dementia compared to people who never touched it. Three times. Think of artificial sweeteners as a Trojan horse. They taste sweet, so your brain unlocks the door expecting energy. 
but no energy comes. The brain realizes it's been tricked and goes into panic mode, triggering inflammation to fight the invader. You aren't just drinking zero calories. You're drinking a lie that confuses your neurochemistry. Aspartame, sucralose, saccharin. These cross your blood-brain barrier and act as excitotoxins, overstimulating neurons until they become damaged or die. This triggers chronic neuroinflammation, the same type of brain inflammation seen in Alzheimer's patients. Look for the pink, blue, or yellow packets on the diner table. Those are the colors of the warning signs. Where else does it hide? Sugar-free yogurt, protein bars, chewing gum, flavored water. Check every label for aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, aces sulfame K, food for processed meats, bacon, deli turkey, hot dogs, sausages, pepperoni. Leeds University followed 500,000 people for eight years. Those eating processed meat daily showed a 44% higher risk of dementia. But the brain damage started decades before the diagnosis. Processed meats contain nitrates and nitrites, preservatives that keep meat looking fresh. In your body, these convert to nitrosamines. Nitrosamines are neurotoxic. They cross into your brain and damage neurons directly. Each daily serving of processed meat ages your brain an extra 1.6 years. Eat it for lunch every day for 10 years? Your brain is now 16 years older than your actual age. Where does it hide? Deli counter meat? Bacon? Sausage? Hot dogs? Beef jerky? Better protein choices? Rotisserie chicken? Hard-boiled eggs? Canned salmon? Greek yogurt? Food 5. Excess alcohol. Everyone knows heavy drinking damages your brain. But what about that nightly glass of wine? That beer after work? Oxford researchers scanned the brains of 25,000 people. Those having just 7 drinks per week, one per day, showed measurable brain shrinkage. Not alcoholics. Not binge drinkers. Just one drink per day. Alcohol is directly neurotoxic. Every time you drink, you're causing damage to neurons. Your liver can regenerate. Your brain cannot. The damage accumulates silently over years. Brain scans show the hippocampus, your memory center, shrinks the most. That moderate drinking, everyone says, is healthy. It's aging your brain six months for every year you do it. Drink moderately for 20 years? Your brain is now 10 years older. I know this is hard to hear if you enjoy your evening glass of wine. But the brain scans don't lie. Notice the pattern? All five of these are silent inflammatories. Remember clearly. Because your brain has no pain receptors, you haven't felt a single neuron die. You felt fine after the soda. You felt fine after the deli meat. That silence is the trap. The decline is so slow. You blame it on getting older. But it's actually what you ate. Whether you're 40 or 70, the damage is cumulative. Every day you keep eating these foods, the damage continues. So the question isn't, will these foods hurt me? The question is, how much damage have they already done? And can we stop it? Action protocol. I've summarized the swap list right here on the screen. Take a screenshot now. Print it out. Put it on your fridge. I'll wait three seconds. Three, two, one. Don't try to change everything at once. Pick one food from this list. Just one. Remove it for seven days. Week one. Read every label in your kitchen. Find the hidden high fructose corn syrup and throw it out. Week 2. Replace artificial sweeteners. Use stevia, monk fruit, or just drink water. Week 3. Stop buying processed meat. Buy real chicken, real fish, 
real eggs. The 80 over 20 rule. Remove these five foods 80% of the time. Your brain will forgive the occasional exception. But daily consumption? That's when permanent damage happens. Neuroscience has proven. Stop eating these foods and your brain can start recovering. Not all damage is reversible, but some is. The choice is yours. You can't unshrink your brain from yesterday, but you can protect it starting today. What are you going to eat tomorrow 